so how to become an amazon va um one of you asked how did i became an amazon va and here are the steps of how i applied as one so this is the home page of the seller central which um every seller or every va used so of course you need to have your resume or curriculum vitae or cv um what i did is i used google docs and i uploaded it or i saved it in google suite so i wouldn't have any problem sharing it with by any means and also i saved a picture or scan of my ids just to be sure well you need to have one because you need a proof of your identification and now this is the website where i applied it, it's called onlinejobs.ph and of course if you're a new user you need to sign up but since this is where i applied this is where i looked for i have an account already so i don't need to log in with my email and with my passport let's log in okay so this is my profile um you have to put your name and this is what the employer will see if they look into your profile in onlinejobs.ph and you need to edit your profile of course you need to upload your picture and i initially write accounting stuff because i'm an accounting graduate and i have a bachelor's degree so i kind of um put private over here because my private information is over there it's written there um my address is there my numbers are there so let's keep it private you have to put it there and you need to take the disk like for your personality and the iq test and of course you have to write your skill summary um you have to rate via stars of your skills like your language skills or your computer literacy how you write something like that and after you're done that's what will looks like ID proof. You need to, um, you need um, ID proof of let's say for safety like seventy. I think my ID proof was seventy. Um, and this is how you can achieve it. Like government ID, proof of address, and mobile number. In my case, I have a. Um, they didn't approve my address verification upload because it was my insurance policy and did, they did not accept it and you click the job board that's where you'll see all the job postings so for example this one are you a genius writer content writer some employer will write if they want a full-time part-time or freelance and of course the id proof 50 70 sometimes they go 20 and they will post the job descriptions over there and if ever you want to apply for this job you click that green button and the subject for example application for content writer, application for Amazon VA, application for virtual assistant, and then you will put your message. In my case, I always say like, hi, my name is blah, 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 and I'm interested in your job posting, and I can do this work or something. And also I paste my CV. In my case, I get the link of it in my Google Drive but I also make sure that it's just on viewer, not an editor. And then I copy the link and then I paste it back in the messages, in the message board in the online jobs.ph. And I put some private um, 
stamp over there because I also put my number, my personal or my personal email or some numbers like um, Skype, um, WhatsApp, so I need to cover that up. And then you just you just click the apply button and then you're all done. You applied for it. You just need to wait for the employer's um, email for you. If they want you, they're gonna send an email. If they're not, some employers, they send back an email that they do not want you. Some don't, so you just have to assume. And for example, this is a VA hiring ASAP. Yes, um, this is are the qualifications that they need because we almost we always do product sourcing in Amazon like we always look for product that can be sell like fast or not not maybe not that fast but the but you won't have loss or spoilage if you're selling grocery items like us because I mostly sell grocery products, foods, and sometimes I also have um, makeup or something like that. So yeah, these are the qualifications. Sometimes employers are too picky, sometimes they're not. I'm lucky that my employer was not. So yeah. You just need to apply a button. Sometimes you just need to be courageous. And we use Slack for communication purposes. And Trello, that's where all our task is located. Just for clarity. And we also use Vico. Um, Vico is an application um, that sustains or organizes all your inventory, all your sales. So it's all in there. That's the the seller board. So yeah, um, it's not that complicated to be a VA. Actually, anyone can do it. It's not that hard. Um, it's just that kind of time consuming, but. Anyone can be a